Hey everybody, this is Tracy here with another edition of A View from Tracy's Point. And I hope everyone is doing well this morning. Um, if you haven't gotten a chance, um, I posted a video late last night. It probably was about 11.30, 12 o'clock, announcing the news that actor Chadwick Bosman had passed away after a four-year battle with colon cancer you know so if you haven't heard the news yet or this is the first time you're hearing about it go and check out that video and then here we are this morning and news of another loss on um, this time nba basketball all-star player cliff robinson has passed away at the age of 53 and so espn is reporting that former NBA All-Star and the 1993 Sixth Man of the Year has died at the age of 53. The Yukon Huskies confirmed Saturday on Twitter. Robinson, known for his trademark headband, spent 19 years in the NBA with the Portland Trailblazers, Phoenix Suns, Detroit Pistons, Golden State Warriors, and New Jersey Nets. He made the 1994 NBA All-Star Game and was named to two NBA All-Defensive second teams while averaging 14.6 points and 4.6 rebounds in 1,380 career games, the 13th most in NBA history. Robinson also won an NIT title at UConn, which retired his number double zero in 2007. And then they're quoted as saying, he was our first great player, former UConn coach Jim Calhoun told Harvest Media. He came from a difficult background in Buffalo. I watched him evolve as a man. He was a good man, had a great career and was instrumental to a lot of the great things that happened at UConn. And just a little more about him. Uh, Robinson holds the career NBA per game average of 14.2 points, 4.6 rebounds, 1.505 steals, and 1.03 blocks. His 1,380 games played are the eighth most in the NBA and second among players eligible for the 2015 Basketball Hall of Fame. At the end of the 2013-14 NBA season, his 42,561 minutes played in the NBA ranked him 19th among all players, 14th among retired players, and first among players eligible for the 2016 class of the Basketball Hall of Fame. Robinson was one of only two players drafted in the 1980s that was still active in the league in 2007, with the other being Kevin Willis. He played in the NBA playoffs in all but one of his 18 seasons in the league with his 2003-04 campaign with the Golden State Warriors being the exception. As of the 2014 NBA playoffs, his 141 playoff games ranked him 16th among inactive players not yet in the Hall of Fame. Although he had a low .393 field goal percentage and 2.1 win shares in those games, at 6'10", he was the tallest player to make more than 1,000 three-pointers until he was surpassed by Dirk Nowitzki and Rashad Lewis here among players qualified for the 2015 class of the Basketball Hall of Fame. Robinson ranks fifth among all players for field goals made and first those and first among those 6'10 or taller. And so he was a contestant on the Survivor. Robinson was a contestant on the 28th installment of the American reality television series Survivor. The theme for the season was brains versus brawn versus beauty, and Robinson was placed on the brawn tribe, Apari. Although he did not initially plan to reveal his identity, he was recognized by Young Wu Hong, who admitted to being a fan of Robinson. Once his identity was revealed, he did not attempt to cover it up 
After a tribe swap, Trish Hagerty revealed her strong distaste for Robinson and convinced fellow tribe mate Tony Vlaakos to vote with her to eliminate him. He was the fifth contestant of the season to be voted out, finishing in 14th place with Vlaakos went on to win the season and Hong was the runner up. And then in 2014, Robinson was named to a team assembled by Dennis Rodman as part of his basketball diplomacy effort in North Korea with the job of playing an exhibition match against the North Korean senior national team to celebrate the birthday of Kim Jong-un. The team also included Kenny Anderson, Van Baker, Craig Hodges, Doug Christie, Sleepy Floyd, Charles D. Smith, and four street ballers. In his post-basketball life, Robinson became an entrepreneur in the cannabis industry, selling assorted cannabis products under his Uncle Cliffy brand name. Robinson is also an advocate for the legalization of cannabis, supporting efforts to reform laws in Oregon and Connecticut. During his time in the NBA, Robinson used cannabis to help relieve pain and anxiety and avoid the undesirable side effects caused by pharmaceutical drugs. He partially attributes the longevity of his NBA career to his use of cannabis. On September 21st, 2003, he married Heather Lofkins on the island of Barbados. His son, Isaiah Robinson, played basketball for the Jefferson High School Democrats in Portland and the Houston Baptist Huskies. Robinson suffered a stroke in March 2017 that paralyzed the left side of his body, but he soon recovered much of his arm and leg movement. He had a tumor removed from his jaw in March 2018. And as of 2017, uh, Robinson was residing in the West Hills of Portland, Oregon. In March 2019, he underwent surgery for cancer treatment and um, as you know, he passed away today. Although they're not listing an official cause of death in the articles that are coming out now, it does appear that he has had a history of medical problems. And so his passing may have something to do with cancer, which is also what um, Chadwick Bosman passed away from. So rest in peace, Cliff Robinson, and deepest condolences to your family. Then another Twitter account um, that's Isaac, World of Isaac, says people forget just how important Cliff Robinson was to those early Detroit Pistons teams in 01 and 02. Durable as hell, reliable scorer, good teammate, helped create the foundation for the 04 championship team. Rest in peace, Uncle Cliff. Then... Jamal Crawford, rest in peace to the OG Cliff Robinson. Kendrick Perkins, rest in peace to my NBA brother Cliff Robinson. Woosh Williams, Cliff Robinson made me want to wear a headband. One of the first stretch bigs ever. One of my favorite players growing up. Rest in peace, Cliff. Russell Steinberg, rest in peace, Uncle Cliffy, survivor, Yukon legend, fire 2020 into the damn sun. Robert Holmes, we're extremely saddened to hear that survivor Kagayan cast away and NBA all-star Cliff Robinson has passed away at 53, as confirmed by Robinson's family to various news sources, rest in power, Uncle Cliffy. Joel Anderson writes, was just reminded that a three member of those early 90s Blazers teams are already gone. Kevin Duckworth, Jerome Kersey, and now Cliff Robinson. Um, Claudia Ewing wrote, I'm breaking the family of Cliff Robinson, former NBA All-Star UConn alum and Riverside High graduate, says he has passed. Um, James Karania, 18-year NBA veteran Cliff Robinson has passed. Um, 50, Robinson, 53, was an all-star in 1994 and sixth man of the year in 1993. Rest in peace on um, the UConn men's basketball team. 
Um, the UConn basketball family mourns the loss of a legendary player and person, Clifford Robertson. Our thoughts and prayers are with Cliff's family at this difficult time. Rest in peace, Cliff. Um, Clevis Murray writes, 19 year NBA vet, James Buddha Edwards has announced on Instagram the passing of 18 year NBA vet Cliff Robinson. Robinson, a former NBA All-Star and UConn alum, became a huge advocate for the legalization of cannabis and was an entrepreneur within that space. And then he also writes that, you know, gives stats about his career, two times of the NBA All-Defensive Second Team in 2000 and 2002, 1993 NBA Six Man, 2009 inductee into the Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame, member of UConn's All-Decade Team, number 00 jersey, retired Huskies. You guys go ahead, leave your comments below, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.